one of the definitions that I uh, found for compassion that I really like is that of sensitivity. Holding a sensitivity to the experience of another person, which of course arises out of uh, oneness and a sense of love or care for another person's experience. So this relates back directly to uh, the golden rule that's been explored recently, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, because there's a sensitivity to the experience that another is having and a recognition of the responsibility for uh, helping provide that experience. If we don't have compassion, then there's an experience of insensitivity or indifference or heartlessness in relation to others or things inside of our field. And those are born out of separation, which is one of the greatest distortions in human consciousness is the idea that we're separate from each other. And then that leads, of course, to judgments, uh, good, bad, right, wrong. And this is, I think, one of the biggest things that causes war, because that's part of what we're experiencing in our human field. There's a war going on out there. And it's this idea that, uh, that there's something out there that's wrong, and I'm holding something that's right. And so it needs to be either overcome or proven to the other person that they're wrong and this is the rightness. And there's this further separation that uh, just breeds kind of an insensitivity to the experience of another person. And so it's our job, each one, of course, you know, and, and, then, and then we fall into this space, I think, of like uh, judging the other person who's judging somebody else. And so we just fall right back into that trap where compassion and the great mother is all about embracing, accepting, um, and therefore allowing the space for something different to exist. And this is something we see perpetuated through uh, religion. You know, it's like my way, not your way. And politics, uh, same thing. Anything that comes up with some idea of what we think is right and some other idea that's different that could be wrong leads towards greater separation and insensitivity to the experience of another. So the call that I understand for building a field of compassion is to be willing to not only see and honor another perspective, but to also recognize and witness that the essence of that person, no matter how different of thinking and expression is from uh, what we might hold, honoring that there's a divine presence within them and there's space for uh, whatever it is that they are believing or expressing to be held in a safe space because uh, I'm existing from a place of love and holding all, all of creation, all of humanity, all of consciousness within a field that says that's okay. That's welcome. It's loved, it's appreciated. And that's not an easy space to get in. It's very rare. Uh, but the work that we have to do is recognize where there's the things coming up of judgments, of assigning right and wrongs, and then maybe wanting to like dominate onto that and to let that all go and to come back into the witness of the one space that is true and real of spirit that exists within each, regardless of any differences.